Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to implement cards. So cards are a cool way in Bootstrap of organizing data together. And once I can show you, you know, the implementation and you know what they look like, you'll be like, ah, I'm sure I've seen, you know, similar things in other websites, especially, you know, social networking websites, blogs, that sort of thing. You'll get some sort of card system. Okay, so first of all, what you want to do is create a div with a class called, I think you guessed it, card, not cart. And in here, what we want to do is, in here you can actually put a lot of different stuff. So, if you go to the Bootstrap website for the card section, I'll provide a link to this with this video. And you can see all the different types of things you can add. You know, there's stuff to do with navigation. I mean, there's a lot here to do with colors. Now, I will cover, you know, I'll say a reasonable amount of it, but just enough to basically get you started and so you understand what it is all about. So I'm going to add an image. Again, this is just, you know, optional. You could just do purely text or links or buttons, for example. And I'll add this source in a second. Class is called card-ing-top. Top, because it's at the top. You can have one that's at the bottom as well. Feel free to expand with that. We're gonna, we can have an alt tag. I'm just going to put dot dot dot. Obviously, feel free to make it more contextual. And for the source, I've got an image right here that I've queued up. Cool picture of Batman. Again, you can use whatever you want. Okay, so let's... Now, next, we're going to create the actual card body. So if I put div class equals card dash body. And we're going to put h5. And I'm going to put title class equals card dash title. Okay, so next what we're going to do is put a paragraph tag. And this is just for some extra text. Again, feel free to go to the Bootstrap website for you know more information on cards and all the different things you can add. This is just one of the examples that are given, and I quite like this example. I think it you know perfectly illustrates what you know cards are all about. So card dash txt, and I'm just gonna put some bio for Batman. So I've already got this right here. I'm just gonna put a little bit. Oh, I'll put that much. That should be fine. You can put as much as you want, but if you put too much, depending on the size of the card, it can, you know, just sort of look a bit weird. But feel free to experiment with that. And I'm gonna add one more thing, and I'll add basically a button. So feel free to check out my video on buttons, button groups, that sort of stuff, to you know understand more about the classes and the themes they can use, like BT and primary. Now I'm going to say I'm Batman. So click me. Okay, so save that. Go back, refresh, and there we go. We got our card. So if I was to resize the browser, this is what we get. It slowly goes down. But you know, this is pretty big on the large screens. So what we can do, we can customize this as we normally would. So I'm going to leave. It to be you know span all of the columns or 12 you know spaces in the row when it's on the smallest screen size but let's say once you get to medium or above i'm gonna put dash six and when it goes to large or above i'm gonna put lg dash three so those are the breakpoints i'm gonna be using feel free to experiment so it's that you know free at the moment so if i add three more they'll fit on the same line i'll show you that in a second and as you can see the next one it should be half you know, half the actual, you know, container, not half the website. Obviously, I had a fluid container, be half of the width of the browser, and now it's gone to the extra small screen size. So let me actually duplicate this. So we've got a fair few there. So this is what we get now. So as you can see, if I resize them, they all look pretty cool. So it's looking kind of like a social media website. So I'm pretty sure you see, you know, the benefit of using cards and you can theme, you know, any individual one of them by going to the card class and put in, you know, like BG, which is, you know, background dash set, for example. And that's the background done. And you can, you know, 
you know, get that information from here, which again, I'm going to put a link to this in the description. There we go, Co background colors. You can also do borders as well, so feel free to check all of that out. Um, yeah, okay, so here's a little extra task for you. I want you to figure out how to remove or actually add a gap here. So when the cards are you know, on top of each other, you want a little slight gap. It doesn't look good if they're connected, you know, aesthetically speaking. So that's it. Any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.